Hello, loves, and welcome back to the coffin of Andy and Lele. Last episode, we finally escaped the apartment, and we ended up finding the little hidden area where all the cult members were, which is pretty interesting. Um, apparently, all the cultists look alike somehow, but I think that was freaking hilarious. Other than that, we had a hitman come to come after us, but you know. You know, Ashley and, and Andrew, they unalived him before he could even try. Um, but we had some secrets with the demon that we work with. Um, we found two different ways to go through the portals that are in that realm that he's in. We had like two different doors. It was very, very interesting. So now we are at our parents' place. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what happens. So uh, let's get into it. All right, here we are. We just got dropped off. Oh, is, can we go in the car again? Come on. We only have so much time until mom and dad get home from work. All right, all right. Let's go. Is there other cars here? Hey, what was that? This, no this way is nothing but more parking spots. Okay, cool. Ooh, ice cream. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. I gotcha. I mean, I still have ice cream during the winter, but you know, that's just me. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place too. What's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplate's on the doors. Did they go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change it at, that, at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just got just a feeling I got. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Oh, so their last name is Graves. That's why the chapter is called. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the chapter is called Graves. Okay, now I get it. Grayson. Smiths? These are so generic. Shitterson. Oh, except for that. <laughs> Ugly Van McHideous. Oh my goodness. Jones. Oh my god. Okay, I guess this is it. Aha! Here we go. D don't just knock. No one comes up, comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever. Let's just find a way in. Uh, garbage? Your parents' trash bins. Okay. Oh, backyard. Oh, come on. Look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach? Nope. Okay. Ooh, a stick. A stick. Oh, we can't pick it up? Okay. Potatoes. Carrots. And... What is this? Onions? I'm guessing it's onions. Got a wooden plank. You check under the flower pot. I got a key. Not... Oh my god. <laughs> they really said, psych, there is fuck all under the flower pot. Okay, relax. Back door is locked. Okay, so we can take this and put it here. Place down the wooden plank. Ugh, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ugh, no good. It's open, but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. Get the stick! Get the stick, get the stick, get Mr. Majestic Stick. I got a stick. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Ha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I ra I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Can I flush the toilet? There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Dang it! You turn the handle, but no water comes out. Okay, so I'm guessing they're still renovating this place. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. 
Not so fast. Hmm? Now, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Hmm. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I use, I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? <laughs> you may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey. There was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. Hmm. Okay. TV? Nope. Um, uh, mail. You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Wow. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. Has it? P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are ri so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. What a bitch. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Yikes. Okay. Oh! Basement! A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. I guess so. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Dirty laundry right at the tops is some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Ooh, her parents are getting freaky. An excellent quality mop. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. A metal box full of screwdrivers. On the table lays some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Yay, I got a key. Yay, the toilet flushes. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. The floor drain seems a little clogged, but... Oh, clogged up, but it's not your problem. Okay, cool. There's a bed. Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet they somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money's clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Okay, are... <laughs> are they having, like, sex parties in their basement? <laughs> um... I think they're having threesomes and shit. I don't know, maybe they have an open relationship? Freaky deaky! Their parents are freaks. Fireplace... It's the phone your mother never calls you with. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, hey. What you doing? Our parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. I, uh, don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept hassling us to move out. Oh, so they freaky freaky. Okay, cool. Oh, you found a key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads... Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opt-in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. A representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. <gasps> huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. You consider shooting whichever parent just came in. But you can't offer the souls of, dead, of the dead, so you hold off on that idea. Is someone there? Huh. Hi, Mom. It's just us. Sir, what are you doing? What the hell? Welcome home! A andrew What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. 
Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll go make some coffee. Yikes. Your mom's purse. I got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Hello, mother. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. She's not complaining. She's asking a question. The least you could have done was mail us some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? <sighs> Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. <gasps> what a freaking cunt bag. Mom is busy treating her work uniform. What a... Oh my god. She is a horrible mother to her daughter. He's putting away groceries. Meat, wine. Looks like your parents had planned a night. Had a night planned. Steak sounds really good, honestly. Steak, mashed potatoes, broccoli. Delicious. Okay, she said they were in the cupboard. You brew some coffee. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Ugh. Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. She knows something. She knows something we don't. On the news, they said everyone died. Can't believe everything all you see on the news. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get all the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no. They actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. No, it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know, full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad's been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. I'm telling you, the mother knows something. <gasps> she knows something. Somehow, your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead, then. Make something, you smooth talker, you. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm Andrew right now. You browse the cooking book for some simple recipes. Hmm. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're shook with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to say, stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. Meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Okay. Uh, let's get the vegetables, I guess. Got potatoes. Got 
potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? Ugh. You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Alright, we got all the veggies. Now we can go back. We have to chop them all up. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. You have nothing more to cut. Okay, where's the meat? I got meat. You cut the meat into chopped meat. Just curious, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Ugh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. <laughs> One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm headed straight to bed. He doesn't even care that his kids just showed up randomly. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Okay. Picked up dishes. It can't be done. The dishes, the wrapping, or the killing. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we were not only alerted them were alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Well, to me, it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Mm hmm. Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave. And you agreed it's just us now. 
funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the only one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. Mm. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Hmm. Okay. It now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what to do. I'll, what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Uh, his fingers are in her freaking belt loop. I'm dead. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. <clears throat> what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. Huh? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with? Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. There's no not enough space in this giant house where you have orgies. Despite it being far larger than the last one. Yeah, exactly. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know what else, how else to say it. No, no. It's... Yes, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Oh. That's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Awkward silence. Well, aren't you going to bed? Uh, I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now or get out at once! You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Oh. Greetings, neighbor! Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? What the hell is going on? Behold, as thou may witness naught but flesh that I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. What the hell? You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to be... Tis time for you to compartmentalize. Okay. Oh, we can move. Oh, what the heck? I got a limb. Got a limb. Got a limb. Put him in the freezer. Okay. Uh, we're missing something. What ails thee? Uh, can we go anywhere else? Pan is empty. Alright. Ashley already cooked one. Ah! Uh, the candle holder is empty. The door has no handle, nor will it budge. Uh... Uh... Hello? What 
are you doing here? I... Actually, don't answer. Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're supposed to, You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Okay, she's following me now. Stop following me, you little shit! <laughs> Ooh, let me get that. Lele places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Use your lighter to light the candle. Ooh, different room. Okay, how do we get there? Ah! Uh, uh. Here we go. Oh, that's not creepy at all. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring! I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my color pencil coloring pencils. Ugh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Sandy. You're the best. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy at all. Okay, I guess I can go this way. Oh! Missing candles. Okay, that's weird. Uh... Someone stares inside the room with an unthinking gaze. I'm guessing that's Lele. The trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Oh, this is his girlfriend. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you won't wouldn't be up there anymore. Got some colored pencils. Hello, Julia. You've been up quite all. You've been quite all day. What's up? N no, it's it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> uh, well, okay, but please don't get mad. When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it's... It'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence? Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? Uh... And maybe for our sake, too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. N no, but you could. Like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mutter, mutter, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. Oh, so cute. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no. You pull that on me. You pull on it again. Ooh, he freaky. <laughs> Aw, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. Well, that's kind of sad. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? I hope to find pink panties, because the whole room is pink. 
You have 127 new voicemails. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Okay. So I'm guessing that's Lele there. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Got a candle. Hell yeah, bitch. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh. These are all the people we murdered. murdered, murdered. These are the people we unalived. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind. This one. There is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't been a, even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. This one you had to get to before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. You found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I'd figured you have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. So, are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. Wait, I can't get his, but I can get one of these two. Interesting. Let me talk to... Oh, can I get her limbs? You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you bothers you. Oh, okay. I wonder if we could get the little sister to come out and play. Lily is focusing on drawing. Okay, I guess nothing... There's nothing else we can do with her. We'll get the lady. Got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the inner dove of freezer doth not combust, perchance it may cook, but not to burn. I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and killed through the flame which engulfed all. A.K. This reminds you of something. Oh. Um. Oh, how joyous tis to be the initial spectacle of thy mutilation and cannibalism, young graves. A.K. Can I go in here? Come on. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have fun night? Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh. Yeah, she's still sleeping. Uh-oh. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Hmm? Well... Oh. Oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How dead? What? Th that can't be right. What is going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went in there on her own anyway. N no, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the, s at the crate until her fingernail split if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll... It'll start rotting. And... 
and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do you... what do we do then? Um, I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? Huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too! It's fine if it's the both of us. No! No, you fucking idiot! You don't get it, do you? Girls and guys... Uh, guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then since you're so smart. Uh, okay, let's just... Uh, like... Move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Y yeah, there is probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carrying her there. Okay. This will have to do. I got a tarp. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. Um, I'm guessing right here is the only spot, right? Maybe here? There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it! She fits here just fine! I... Okay, fine. You and Lele push the body into its grave. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No. There can't be this. This is obvious of a spot, and it needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Uh, leaves and such. Uh... Got foliage. Got more foliage. Got another thing of foliage. Um... Got some foliage. Uh... Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is getting blown... Uh, blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. The rocks! Got a stone. Nice, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't gonna do it, I was just saying. Ugh... <sighs> What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Mm. Let's forget all about it. L Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters! I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me! I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else would like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. I won't tell anyone. 
Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. He is stressed. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they put this jam and thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So, I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're so pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Don't worry about it. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. Can we look at anything else? There's no need to leave the house. Oh, I could go out here. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. Good talk. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no. I'm not jumping. Uh huh? Right, it's just a job. I can always find another. Your mom said I was too good for that one anyway. I... Wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important to Anders. It's Andrew. <sighs> I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Okay. Hold on, guys. Hmm, I wonder if there's anywhere else we can explore before we go there. Can't go here. Can't go in the freezer. Can't go in our parents' room. Can we go to the TV? Someone is being interviewed on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used, used to be a surgeon, isn't that right? That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So trust me, one can of Toxy Soda a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> When even a doctor tells me to indulge, how can I not? Surely it's only up from here. What plans do you have for the future? Well, first of all, with a such great demand comes a great need for water, which is why I've partnered up with several water distribution companies. I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship. Where- The people on TV ramble on and on. Okay, so this is where it starts when they were little. That is Cuckoo Bananas. You're relieved that there is absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. Okay. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. 
Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah! Gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah! Wait! No! I want a do-over! Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair! Aw, uh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents. Huh? Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all our problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake! Good morning! Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're asleep, we'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So, now we're doing it my way. Okay. Mm. Oh my! My efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp! <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should... Andrew, are you still awake? I yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I just wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Uh-oh, she's gonna see Ashley. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Wh where'd you get that? What's it look like now, Mom? Uh, Ashley, c come on. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. <sighs> Alright, I guess we're getting rope. Oh, hello, dad. Can we get rope somewhere else or is it just in there? If we could get rope. Purse. I wonder if we could... Oh, wait. Isn't there some Christmas lights in here? Got Christmas lights. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. 
You tied up your mom using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. What about dad? Also, I think you need more than a string of lights to hold a grown man in place. Well, maybe to be enough to hold you, but... If I need your input, I'll ask for it, okay? Alright, we have to go get dad. There's some rope in the closet along with other... Equipment. Freaky. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else... Ah, shit. Oh, we woke up dead. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry. I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. The truth is... I wanna tie up ma... I wanna tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I wanna fuck myself? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement Actually, I think she could use some help Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother Got rope Maybe you should hang yourself with it Honey, is everything alright? Take out your cleaver What is going on? Oh, his dad is so cute. A Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> oh my god. Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. All right. Good. Now, do you remember how to reform the rich? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You go this far just for a quick buck. What's the pin? And where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this out. Try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. I wish I could go with you, but someone has to keep an eye on these two. Alright. I wish I could... Wait, can we talk to the parents before we go? No, we can't. Okay. Let's just go. Got a credit card. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing here? Get back downstairs! They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of... Flip-flopping. Late. Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. He almost called her Lele. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Adorably weird. You are Ashley. We are Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Okay, blood, candles, cannibalism. Runes, candles, blood. I drew runes on the floor using the warden's blood. I also set up some candles. There was a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn with blood too. You nod to yourself confidently and pleased with your memory. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Alright, so we need to get like a knife, right? For the blood. Got a kitchen knife. I know there's candles in this box. Here be candles. Okay. Alrighty, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about? Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You haven't. You've been a cunt bag the whole time. You're the one who shut me out. 
Even when I stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to start for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you two used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right there and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah, uh, yes. The patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue, let's see whose blood I should use. I'm gonna cut my mother because she's a b -b 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 bitch. Uh, honey! It's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Mmm. Got blood. Let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. This is more like an oval <laughs> than a circle. Lucky Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never. No, no, don't let her get a rise out of you. Candles, candles, candles. Got four candles. All right, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back. Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card? I do. You do. I could only get a couple hundred before it knocked me out. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah. Well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up. You have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Let's go, lady. Off we go. You're in luck, as the customer's customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. This is so boring. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit together? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> the mom's pissed. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Yeah, right. You were trying to get one up on us, huh? The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your men memory is such shit. Though I already figured uh, as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. All right, fair, whatever. Give me the card, I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's r already morning, though. Well, yeah, but... I mean... still. Just hand me the card. I... 
Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley? You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. <gasps> trust him? Fuck that. Save the game. We're gonna save the game. We'll come back to this choice. Alright, so for this playthrough, we are gonna trust him. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got a credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. You are Andrew. So there's like two different ways to play this game. So we're probably going to go through the, go through the other route at the end of the game. Like the different routes that we have. And we'll see the different endings that we get. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio. But at least you can draw the missing runes. Now where did Ashley get all this blood? Your mother. Got blood. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Mm, technically, anyway. Then what is this? all this witchcraft-looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a 7 and 5 year old to care for. How were you stuck where your husband was working all the time, I'm guessing? I think you have fared better than me. I wouldn't know. That isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck-up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. <laughs> so fine, look where we are now. Anyway, you were such an easy child, I thought we'd be fine having another. I was counting on Ashley to- I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault, I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can all sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. They get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Ooh, we're gonna save the game. We are going to decline. So in this route, we're gonna go... We're gonna have Ashley's back in this in this route. The next route will go behind her back, be flippy floppy, like she said. Well, about Ashley. Ooh. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. L let's not fight. There is a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam, nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor. Well, a surgeon, actually. The surgeon that made those freaking sodas. After they told us you'd be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. As far as, as, as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you two after you got quarantined. It's kind of curious that they let you do that. So then, when we died, weren't you on it? in on it? Of course not. I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites, so that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. W where are you going? I have to finish setting this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay. I'm not really interested. What? But that... that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... Ah, I get it. Huh? 
you fuck her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What, huh? Look at the dad. <laughs> the dad's like, what? Oh, that is disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, mom? Then what does she give you that makes it all worth all this? Well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. No, I mean, yes, you are, but I've never... I'm back! Now of all times. I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna die. Ugh, whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. Oh, so eager. Let's see if this shows up, though. Since there's no music... Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Alright, get to it. You are Ashley. Alright, here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Mr. and Miss Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Ah! Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I offered those two. Their scream is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh. I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway. So the music wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why'd I have to play last time, then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your tricky works again. Thank you. Hmm. What? Hello? This is the brother. That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul, it's mine. I will see you again, Tar Soul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. Oh, me? Why? Okie dokie. Bye bye. The entity leaves. And that's that. The trinket is charged. What did it mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right. Bodies. Um. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other hand, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they'd just fuck off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Oh, I did the wrong voice. Sorry. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley. We're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, fun. Ugh. How to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. But there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. Oh, wow. Check out this smartass right here. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? You take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is. Mom too. Uh -huh. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their heart still beats, their lungs draw in air. Oh God, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be, the cultist died and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. 
No, no, no. Please tell me he wasn't alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now. I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? Oh. Oh. My god. You get your father, too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do the dirty work. Mm. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Oh boy. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha! Whoa, whoa! What? Stop, stop! Stop, it's flooding! Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross! Ugh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. I know there's tools in here. Got a screwdriver. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Okay, uh, did we undo it? I need- I'm going to need a screwdriver. Okay, uh, I guess we have to get the other stuff first. This is crazy. We literally murder alerted our parents. Baking soda. Baking soda! Oh. Here we go. Pour some baking soda. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I'm but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Yeah, gloves are right here. Got rubber gloves. Here you go, brother. Here you go. Have fun. Hand it Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. Ugh. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh, God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross. Andy! <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I'm armed. You wouldn't! Come here, you. Ah! No! No, don't you dare! No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep! Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew! Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine. You are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and empathy and apathy like you expected him to. Ooh. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Huh? What? To think I'd n I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're... being... weird. Look who's talking. 
<laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So, what's the plan for all this? For it to dispose all of it. Of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a torso. Got all the limbs. That is a lot of limbs. Got a head. Got a pile of organs. Got another head. Oh boy. Maybe we could put it in the fire pit. Ooh, can we burn the bodies here? It'll be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. You place the torso above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddammit. This isn't working. It makes me kind of hungry, though. Ugh. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. Okay. Um... Blender? You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. Ugh. All of which you pour down the sink. How's that? It is gone. I'm generally surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want it to seize or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Okay, um... Uh... Ooh, I know. Let's turn uh, some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do you... Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them in the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I know you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. <laughs> That's funny. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. You got chopped meat. You skin the heads. You got faces. Ugh. You got skulls. Ugh. Uh, what do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? What the skulls we can deal with later, along with other bones. Okay. Threw faces into the fire. That is horrendous. They really unalived their parents and skinned them alive and gut them up. And now we're eating them. Fun. So fun and interesting. And gross. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Alright. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? Yeah, the bones. Do you think the soup is ready yet? Maybe. Dinner's ready. I'm eating too. Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah, ah. Uh, unexpected. Well, well. How is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than the last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. How do you overcook soup? Mom's just a really dry person, all right? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup. That's what I said. <laughs> this is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. <gasps> you will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry, you can't cook. <laughs> You're for not forgiven. Oh? Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. What? C come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad. It's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Hmm. 
Why, yes indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. An out-of-this-world culinary experience which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it was a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write about... <laughs> I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you. Come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food, too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips quarter past midnight. Huh? Should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, goddamn. It's just right. <laughs> um, whatever. Humans are hard to cook. We'll get it next time. What? Next time? Uh, whatever, anyhow. I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. I'm getting the soup. It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking about yourself right now? Ah. Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. Alright. Can we talk to him again? Your inability to grasp the weight of the situation is simultaneously your best and worst quality. I've already come to appreciate it lately. Though it pisses me off all the same. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. Dumb as a stone. I just choose to ignore your not at all subtle insults. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this outside. Throw away the leftover human soup. You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Alright, let's get these bones. The flesh has burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh. So what do you do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much of making them disappear, huh? What do we do with all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh... Dental records, I guess? You guess? How nice. Forgive me, O oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I hoping... I'm I hoping... I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float, though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find some... Something to weigh them down, just in case. Okay. <laughs> that noise. You remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Ugh. Got all the teeth. Now you've got a way, uh, gotta find a way to get rid of them. Interesting. Alright, ha, uh, we flush them? You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for you, for them, blah, for, it takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this all, to all of your problems. Same. Honestly? So, we lose the teeth, bag the bones, we... With some rocks and call it a day. Got it. Alright, we have to get some... We have to get some, uh, rocks. Got some rocks. You place them in one of the plastic bags. Okay, is that all the rocks that we have? That's what I'm guessing. Finally. All that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ugh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would, we, why would it have to be here? We're gonna live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but... Eventually someone is going to, going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't shown up to work in a while. 
So they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, despite their name still being on the door. We can tell some lie. Say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores! Why weren't they happy with just each other's? I didn't simply Im I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officers ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, then just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use our IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem with, as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish this was that easy. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. You are Ashley. I feel like since we chose the route where we trust our brother and he has our back, it's like making her feel weird because that's not who he is. He's the type of person that flip flops. So I don't know, man. I wonder what the other route was um is gonna be like. God damn it! I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. This mop is too big for you. Find another. Got an excellent mop. Okay. This is so loud. Okay. Um... Oh. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yes. Returned all the candles into the box. Alright, I think we're done. Alright, brother, we're done. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream when we're caught, I guess. I offered you soul, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Okay, can I sleep on the couch? No, I have to sleep on the bed. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it's, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have a clairvoyant dream. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could I hold on to it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... Hmm. We're not cutting it. That's not it. But I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together. Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's fine. 
Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> and it doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier? Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. Hmm. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Oh, what was that? Oh! Okay, so we're in a dream. I got a pink plushie. What's this? Okay, so it's showing us where to go. Okay, so there's two ways, ways to go. Wow, who drew all this garbage? <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, I know there was... TV won't turn on. Can we go this way? Hello? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. We got a red crayon. Oh. Nothing but static. Okay, so the red crayon goes up this way, right? Yep. <clears throat> got a green crayon. Okay, so now we can go to the other area. Okay. See how this is going. Uh, maybe this way. No. Down this way. Got a blue crayon, but what do we do with the blue crayon? Cause I don't see a blue drawing. Maybe this way. Um. I don't see... We got the blue one. Gave pink plushy all the crayons. Oh, okay. Oh. The TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Oh. Got a stool. Okay, I don't even... What? Okay, so we have a few bunnies here on the table. Maybe we put the stool here? Yep, place down the stool. Um, mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. And then we have... The pink plushie sits by itself. We'll leave it. Oh, we got the green plushie. Do we put it here? Um... A pillow. Maybe we could put the brother with him. With the sister? Place down green plushie. Yep, there we go. The plushies seem happy together. <clears throat> Ooh. Purple plushie won't budge. Yellow plushie won't budge. Okay, um. Alright, we got both of them. Maybe the green one we put in the middle? Yep. The yellow floozy. I'm guessing she goes in the box. Yep. Nothing happens. Get the purple one, purple hussy. Put in here? Soup is brewing, though it seems to be missing sustenance. Oh, wait. Would that be the yellow one? I think it would be the yellow one. No? Oh. Uh. Put the purple one in there. And locked away the yellow one. Nothing happens. Okay, uh... <clears throat> maybe it's the other way around? Oh, yep, there we go. Locked away the purple plushie. 
Now it is exactly where it belongs. Okay. Can we get the parents yet? Yes, we could get the parents. Make them into soup. Oh, this is so twisted. Threw mom and dad plushies into the pot. Oh shit, we get to go to the moon. We got the best thing in the world. We're gonna put him in a cage. There, all better. Oh, he's summoning us. You see the red flowers? Oh, interesting. Alright, guys. This is gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This episode, like I've said, every other episode was insane, okay? We unalived our parents, we ate them, we hid their bodies, their organs, their bones, everything. And now we're trying to have a vision, and this dream is very, very interesting. So, we're gonna see next episode what's this all about because i have no idea but i'm so interested i am so interested in this dream that she's having right now it is so weird anyways guys i love you all so much thank you so much for being here if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe hit the bell so you get a notification every time i post a new video like the video if you have not already and i have all of my socials down below if you're interested i do stream on twitch here and there i haven't really been consistent as much as i would like but I promise soon I will be. Alright guys, I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye!